Hello everybody, my name is Nayan, I'm the Black Female Engineer and I provide content for new and aspiring software engineers and today we are going to be talking about the fastest way to get hired as a software engineer in 2021. We're going to be talking all the tips and tricks to get you through that job hunt process in the most painless way possible. So let's get to it. So number one, the first thing you want to start doing regularly when you are on the job hunt process is to start posting on Medium or some other blog hosting site about different techniques or just different things relevant to software engineering or coding or projects or things like that. So one example I have is I posted an article on Medium about um, refactoring in JavaScript, ways to make sure your code is the cleanest it can be and all of that jazz. And this is a great way to be seen as an expert in your field because when you are you know a software engineer or you are have gone through the transition from some other industry or are very new to this that is something that you really need to sell that you are an expert in your field and that you know things that other people don't or that you're confident talking about things that other people aren't willing to talk about or you know just aren't doing so and so you want to be the person that people come to for certain tips for certain advice and all of that and so by posting articles on medium it shows that you are not afraid to put that hammer down and say no this is the correct way to do something no this is the wrong way to do something and show that you are willing and able to be a teacher to someone like how to let's say code a survey in you know react or how to best um, go through password authorization using Ruby it shows that you one are you know seen as an expert but two are not afraid to extend that knowledge onto other people and that shows true leadership and that is what companies want and so after you post these articles then post them onto your different social media sites share them and make sure people see this especially if you have a linkedin y'all y'all get a linkedin please get a link in because this will show the more um, people focused on you know getting a job hiring for a job networking what you can do and what you know and that is so so important those are that's your target market so write articles on medium and post them on every social media platform but please let one of those platforms be linked in number two the second tip i have for you all to really get that job especially that first job as a software engineer is whenever you see a posting on google on you know any other recruitment site indeed all of that make sure that you then go to linkedin and try to find somebody who works at that company they don't have to be a first connection to you they don't have to be somebody you know but someone just someone who pops up and is like oh the so-and-so works at google and you're you know a second tier connection or third tier connection reach out to them i know it's scary doing these cold call type situations i know it's scary but reach out to them and just express that look i am very interested in your company for these three reasons and i'd love to talk about this opportunity specifically specifically ask you these questions by being specific that shows that you are no BS it shows that you are not just looking for you know another connection and to up your numbers or you know are just vaguely interested and all of that no it shows that you have genuine interest and are genuinely trying to learn more about this company this is actually a tip I talk about in my how to ensure success after coding bootcamp video I'll link it above but it's so so important that 
you make connections because yes we want to you know learn more about the job but the real reason you're doing this is because you want to get into contact with somebody in that office somebody who has a part in making the decisions of who gets the job and who doesn't and that doesn't mean that the person you have to contact has to be a recruiter or has to be you know the managing officer no just them working there that very much increases your odds of getting an interview because when we talk about things like interviews and phone calls and all of that with companies they're not all just done with the recruiting manager and you know with the manager of the team and everything it's done with people who would have you know the same positions as you your coworkers, and people who would interact with you on a daily basis because it's important that those people like you too and so even though you know the person is may not be a recruiter and all of that doesn't mean they won't have a say in your hiring process so really really keep that in mind just reach out to somebody and try to get that connection because then when you start talking and hopefully talk over a phone call or video um, type meeting they will remember you when someone the manager or the recruiter mentions your resume or when they're the ones reviewing resumes or will be the ones to put your name forward to the manager to the recruiter because they remember the amazing conversation they had with you and so that is a great way to get your foot in the door. Now, be careful with this. There's a saying, ask for a job and get advice. Ask for advice and get a job. So don't, and when you're talking on LinkedIn or emails and everything, don't say, oh, I appreciate you giving me, you know, putting a good word in or, you know, getting my hat in the ring. No, don't ask for any of that. Just keep asking questions about the company and ask for what things you should do next in the pursuit of this position. And they by themselves will be like, you know what? I'll, I will talk with the recruiter. I'll get you in touch with so-and-so person and get you connected. Believe me, I know it feels like that won't happen. It has happened to me, honestly, every single time just because I showed true genuine interest and I'm just constantly asking questions because they know you want a job. They know you want a job. And so you don't need to tell them, hey, I want a job. You don't need to tell them that. They know you want a job. And so by them ending up just liking you through the conversations you had, they will put your hat in the ring for you without even asking. And so make sure you just keep that mantra in mind. Next, the third thing you want to do in your pursuit of a job is to join a Facebook group tailored to people in your position or with you know that target market and so for example join a you know minorities in software engineering group hispanics in software engineering data structures and you know black individuals uh people looking for a job software engineering group things like that don't just join any old software en any old in group in general and just say hey are there any software engineers in here you know like get me in no try to look for facebook groups tailored to people like you and as much as as you as possible um because the amount of information that is shared between communities y'all it's insane like the amount of things i have realized or learned through these types of interactions is way more than i could have ever gotten from google.com and so join a facebook group like this and start seeing one what's the um well the main goal of the group is it to get you a job is it to get through coding boot camp is it to learn algorithms and data structures what's the main goal and steer into that so learn algorithms and data structures from the people around you learn about you know coding boot camp if that's what you're in learn about the their tips for you what um things people are willing to help on if it's for looking for a job and networking network network try to talk with somebody once a week or once every two weeks make sure that you are being an active participant because that way you are not you know you're getting out of it what you want you're not going to get out of it what you want by just you know sitting and just waiting for 
a recruiter from Google to call you. Like that's not gonna happen. You need to be an active participant and that is how you will get the furthest and the most out of this experience. And so please, please remember that. But again, we are not just takers. Like we are not those type of people. We don't just take, take, take and then leave. Make sure that whatever you can provide, you share it with other people as well. Whatever tips you have, whatever you know, advice. And if you don't have any right now, that's okay. But once you get that job, come back and say hey y'all this is how we do salary this is how i did salary negotiation this is the interview questions that they asked me make sure that we are keeping that you know cycle going of helping and assisting and lifting people up but yes that's tip number three join a facebook group or slack group or anything like that some type of social community that will in turn further your career and further um just your self and professional development tip number four now i'm pretty sure this will sound basic to y'all but create a portfolio for your work your projects but don't only do that try to fill your portfolio with things that um really shows your skill set and so again like duh but one way to do this is by looking up your favorite apps, looking up your favorite websites and things that are just popular um, right now and recreate them. Recreate, let's say, Tinder, but for, you know, activism or, you know, or for therapy or um, what's another one? Like I'm trying to, I was going to say Match.com. I'm not trying to think all dating sites. <laughs> but yeah, think about very popular social media platforms and find a way to recreate it with a spin because that shows that you know what you like you can do this well bet so can I like that is a skill that employers want to see your ability to create and if you can create something that's already popular then that shows that you're a very skilled engineer because well this company is making millions on millions of dollars and you just did the same thing in much less time and without a team like it was just you that is amazing now i'm not saying it should have like you know all the functionalities and all the hoopla to it but it shows that no you are on the right track to to become a very very established engineer and are teachable and workable and that is a very good sign for hiring managers and so yeah along with other projects try to also add one or two projects to your portfolio that are copycats to something already popular in the industry but add your own spin to it now this is like for a of a, a tip or you know tip number five every time you complete a project share it on linkedin every time y'all every time you do anything anything at all every time you take a sip of water share it on linkedin like <laughs> i if if anyone's watching this that you know is friends with me on linkedin you know i especially during the job hunt process it was me all day long three posts a day just boom, boom like this is what i did today this is what i did today i coded this i did this algo problem i you know solved this on leak code i posted this blog it was me 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 always till sunday it was me my projects my you know advancements my articles every single update professional update that i could provide i posted it and you know why it's not you know because you know i am just a social media nerd and everything. no it's because linkedin does a great job at circulating your content and your information and your um, status updates with people who you've never even heard of before, but people who may very well be interested in the things you are doing. By being active and this active on LinkedIn, you are then able to one day get a hit with somebody because they see that one you're very serious about this you know industry and you're passionate about it we can teach you how to you know conduct an if statement we can't teach you to be passionate about it by being this passionate about it that already is 60 percent 70 percent 80 percent of the battle 
of being an engineer in general and being happy as an engineer. And so by showing people that you are passionate and you are just working on your professional development every single day, it shows that you are the person that should be hired for something. And so keep on and just allow yourself to just continue with that exposure and be as, you know, it's, it's, I know it's tiring having to constantly, you know, update things and you feel like you're being a bother and, you know, that people are looking at you like, bruh, like chill, you know, calm down. But no, that's what's great about LinkedIn. We're on LinkedIn because we want a job, because we have a job and want to bring more people to the job or, you know, all of the, like we are on LinkedIn to network, to build these professional communities. And so use it for that. Don't be worrying about, you know, X, Y, and Z people. Those people do not pay your bills. Like, uh, -uh. like do not worry about them. Worry about you and your own professional development and share every update you can about your projects and engineering and your coding and all of that as much as possible on LinkedIn because companies look up your LinkedIn. Yeah, they do. They look up your LinkedIn and they look up your GitHub. And so that brings us to the next tip, tip number six. Make sure that your GitHub is as green as can be. Make sure that you code and commit to your GitHub at least once, preferably three to five times a day because recruiting managers look up your GitHub and they want to see how often you are coding out because if you're in the interview talking about, oh, I love development and I'm doing this, 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 then they look you up and you have not been seen since November of last year, then that's a problem. They want to see consistency and they want to see that this is an actual passion of yours. And so make sure that your LinkedIn is, you know, spit spat clean and constantly being updated and also your GitHub. And you know what, like this video, if you would like me to go into um, a video about GitHub specifically, because there are specific things I did on my GitHub, specific ways I laid out my GitHub to make sure that it was job and recruitment ready. So like this video and please leave a comment if you'd like to see that, because I'm just trying to make sure I am being helpful. So if that's not helpful to y'all, then like that's totally fine and I just won't do it. But if you would like to see that, let me know. And you know what? While we're at it, press that subscribe button, please. I love how much this community has been growing and I would love to just see that more and more. So press that subscribe button. So that is tip number six. And finally, the last tip for you all is if you apply to a job and you don't hear back within, I'd say three weeks, reach out to somebody in the company. Typically, you can find some type of contact for a recruiter. Sometimes it's sent, that information is sent after you send your application, like, oh, if you have any questions, email this or call this number. Reach out to, you know, the recruiter or, you know, whoever you can contact about the status of your application. Not only to, you know, know what's going on to you know because again we have bills to pay but not only because of that but it also shows that no you are waiting by the door for them to show up like you are waiting for them and it shows that you know you really do want this now in your follow-up message include a blurb as to who you are because you know if they haven't gone back to you maybe it's because they didn't read your resume and so Provide a little blurb as to who you are. Like I'm, my name, you know, is Naya, and I have, you know, qualifications in these languages, and I've done these projects. And include a blurb as to why you want this job and this company. I saw that you're a company who values X, Y, and Z. As a person who has contributed in my community in this way, it would make me very, very proud to be a part of this culture as well. 
period. Now you can even go a step further and also attach your resume. This works more for smaller companies that you're applying for, mid to smaller companies, and say, you know what, to make things easier, I'll attach my resume again within this email. Please feel free to contact me and I look forward to hearing from you. Because then they don't have to go into their portal and dig out you know, your application and see the status, but they can just pull it up right then and there and then hopefully give you a decision much sooner. This, again, not only for figuring out what's going on with these applications but also to show them and give them a glimpse of the person you are which you really can't do with standard applications so that is tip number seven I think it's seven. Tip number seven. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please, please let me know how your job hunt has been and I look forward to seeing y'all soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.